Hello truckers, welcome to another video from CSA. Um, today we are going to take a nice little journey. We're going to go from Phoenix. We're to Santa Maria. I don't know how long the trip's going to take. We've got the Kenworth today. I am using a bunch of mods. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. So let's get this thing going. What you're going to notice right off is that I get a Detroit diesel under the hood of this thing. Because I like the sound of them. And uh, kind of like what I did with the lighting here. Kind of looks cool. But anyway, let's get this uh, let's get this trip going. Hopefully, I can do this professional like with no incidents. That'd be nice. Um, I don't do much commentary when I uh, drive, so uh, I'll leave you guys with the wonderful sounds of the Detroit throughout the video. I may comment here and there. To try to keep this as realistic as I could, I put the engine at uh, 525 horsepower, um, driving a 13 speed Eaton Fuller, and uh, I basically want the truck to kind of struggle a little bit. It's no fun when you're 900 horsepower, there's nothing to hold you back. I want to show you a little realism. So a couple of the mods I'm using, using a heavy traffic mod, um, basically what it does in a nutshell is that it adds more cars, more variety, and makes the the world feel more populated. Kind of kills the frames. I'm doing a solid 45 right now, but I'm also recording in uh, 720. 
and uh, I forgot what I was saying. <clears throat> but I'm using a Logitech G29 steering wheel with the six speed eight shifter. Some people like to know that. So if you hear a little, uh, what sounds like weird vibrating or smacking noises, that's my force feedback. I have it turned up because I like the uh, stiff steering wheel. Kind of, you know, it's kind of like a real vehicle. Oh, what I was talking about before is mods. Um, stupid cop. Um, so yeah, I'm using a high traffic mod. Um, obviously I got some strobe lights and other things like that. Um, using another mod that basically adds extra parts to the SCS vehicles in the game. For those who don't know what SCS vehicles are, they are the default um, vanilla game, uh, vanilla trucks that you get. And of course I'm using sound mods and the physics mod which kind of gives the truck a little wiggle. It doesn't make the bump so uh, st so strong anymore. Well, I assume it'll probably take a half hour to get over to Santa Maria. I don't plan on stopping. I don't think I need... F yeah, I'm good on fuel. This truck's pretty new, actually. Oh yeah, I'm also using a, a light mod that kind of makes the headlights look more realistic. I always thought, like in default game, the headlights seemed like this. They were way too forward. I'm using another mod that's supposed to give you darker nights, but I don't, honestly, I don't notice it. Pretty much everything that I use is either off the Steam Workshop and only, I only use modhub.us. It's a site I trust. So if you didn't notice in the beginning of the video, I'm hauling a uh, big-ass Caterpillar, uh, Caterpillar Dozer. Uh, just like in real life, I drive with the J-Gun. You never know when you'll need it. I shouldn't be checking my phone and driving. It makes for bad videos. And as you notice right there next to me, there's a uh, highway patrol unit for Arizona. That's another mod I'm using. Um, in their respectful towns, uh, cities, state, highway, sheriff's department, there's a mod that basically uh, makes the the police in the game, uh, you know, more uh, to an area. 
So you'll find LAPD in Los Angeles. You'll find Highway Patrol on highways. Or CHP, anyway. And uh, ASP that you just saw right there. Arizona State Police. And one of my favorite mods, I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, the mirrors. Field of view, FOV. I have uh, mirrors that are more like real truck mirrors instead of SCS's. Uh, I don't know what they were thinking with their mirrors. But I get an actual real depth of field. It feels like I'm really looking down the side of the trailer. As opposed to before where it's like you had to do one of these motions to get a better look. I run a lot of stupid little mods. I, I, you know, they maybe it's because I'm a real trucker in real life. I expect it to be real in the game, so I use a lot of uh, a lot of mods that you know kind of stand out as in realism. Adds realism, I meant. thing this traffic mod doesn't really do is it concentrates traffic on this side, but it doesn't on that side. I would like to see more life coming at me, also. And a little frame drop there. Driving at 13 speeds, so the gearing is a little uh, spread out between 12 and 13. Come on, truck won't get in gear now. Okay. Had a little trouble getting the gears, the buttons wouldn't listen. You're letting me over, buddy. I 
Uh, once I can figure out how to do Twitch and live stream, uh, I'll probably do that. But until then, I gotta do this shit the old fashioned way and uh, do it on YouTube. Why are my buttons not cooperating? There we go. Seems like my buttons went backwards. I don't know. My range splitter is supposed to be uh, up high, and I don't know. The buttons they they're just going backwards. So we're um, we're almost in Las Vegas, or uh, not we? Why do I keep saying we? I'm almost in uh, L.A. It's one thing that drives me absolutely fucking crazy on YouTube is that people always talk about themselves in the third person. Come on, you stupid. Thing here. Komatsu. Thought it was a caterpillar. There, see, right there was a CHP. And uh, you'll see them in uh, a Dodge Charger, you'll see them in a Ford Explorer, and you'll see them in an older Dodge Charger as well. And also, you'll see them in a Taurus. I think the author took out the Crown Vic. So, we're almost at the end of... I'm almost at the end of Interstate 10. We'll be getting on the 5 North. GPS always says to get off this exit, but you can ignore that. I wish the traffic would recognize you coming and move over. I mean, it's nice that they stop on a dime in the middle of the highway and nobody gets in an accident, but realism is they would see you coming and move over. They don't do that. Kind of takes away from the, uh, the immersion. Now look at that. A speed camera. 
Oh, there's an older charger right there. That's funny. That sign says don't drink and drive, and yet I'm drinking and driving <laughs> in the game. As long as you don't drink bleach, you'll be fine. Don't drink bleach. Kind of an inside joke from one of my uh, one of my favorite YouTubers. Gray still plays. I'll give you a shout out. Love that guy's videos. His content is funny. You guys really should go check him out. His my summer car series is hilarious. So yeah, that's my shout out. I'm actually pretty sure I think we'll uh, I think I'll wrap this video up before uh, the 30 minute marker so if I remember correctly I think Santa Maria is just just down the road well then uh, actually then again I believe they they did a uh, SCS did a map expansion so I'm not really sure I haven't driven Santa Maria it's, it's one of those towns that you just pretty much never get a, a trailer to Coming up to Oxnard right now.
Yep, yeah, you gotta love it when the uh, traffic brake checks you. Look at that, a Comcast van. Oh, how I miss Comcast internet. It's better than that fucking back road shit I got now, but then again, I'm, at least I got internet. I mean, it could be worse. Look at that view. With the exception of the oil derrick out there, it's uh, nice. Well, at least the 101 seems more, you know, realistic than it used to be. Since the uh, map revamp, I haven't, I've never seen this road before. And my stop is coming up just up here. So yeah, just... I kind of figured about a 30 minute video, so... That's pretty good. Pretty cool. What are you doing? Looks like uh, Bitman is the stop. I feel like I'm not going to clear the fence. Yeah, not even close.
idiot. Shouldn't have parked so damn close. Out of hell with it. I'm just gonna end that load right there. So that's delivered. All right, people, that is going to be the video. I thank you for watching, and until next time, have fun. Keep the greasy side down, guys. Peace out.